Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm your rabbit. You can see we have a S2000 here because I am building a new Toge Grip Monster here on the channel. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow in the box below. Let's get to it. So this S2000 is being built for my personal Toge car. We're going to be running a full Toge series on the channel where we're comparing cars against each other. This is going to be my personal one that I'm going to be running against some people and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get this thing dialed in. This track is very tricky with the bumps and hips and stuff like that. If you're on power going over certain bumps, especially real drive cars, it tends to uh, lose control. So we're going to be trying to do this in this S2K as easily as possible. This car does have like Type S lights and a lap timer and everything like that. So it's fully set up for doing Toge runs or time attacks. So let's go full send. Make sure we don't lose traction in the rear of this car. Still trying to dial in the tune of this car. And get used to being right hand drive. Be utilizing heel toe downshifting as much as possible as well. Down second gear. Trying to manage this tight. A little bit of drift wide. A little bit of slip in the front on that corner. Probably gonna adjust the front grip a little bit. Utilizing, of course, the left foot and right foot braking in sections to be able to be back on throttle as fast as possible. These are the little bumps to talk about, those little hips over the hills can definitely make or break your car and unsettle the rear very quickly. You don't want to do too much of that grass tapping either on this course because you will definitely uh, lose control. It's another hill that the car gets a little bit light. Quick left, right, left. To a bit of a hairpin. A little bit of lost traction there. We're trying to keep as much traction as we can in the back of this car to prevent wheel spin. We are on semi slick tires, so not the super as grippy, but a, a streetable tire. slightly this section right here it's kind of wonky over this hill they off throw a little bit right through the goal at a 236 864 so not overall not a bad time so we're gonna take a look at the replay of this and see where I feel we pushed a little bit too hard and things like that oh look it's initial D cars so let's take a look at the replay camera so that's 2000 big fireball at the back this is awesome. definitely a very fun car so a car that i'm trying to like i said get tuned quite well very stable chassis um need to work on the downforce and things like that a little bit we are on some super big sticky nitto tires though so we're going to try and utilize some more grip on the car but overall definitely very happy with how this car is progressing so if you guys have cars that you want to see against each other in a toge battle let me know down in the comment section down below because like i said i'm going to be doing toge battles car versus car with another driver um and we're going to see if obviously the chase car can keep within one car length of the lead car because that's how actually how it goes may take some drift cars out here and see if we can't grip drive and drift here on the toge with some of the street drift cars and stuff like that but this amuse s2k is definitely uh 
a very solid car, super stiff as you can see, kind of just bouncing around on the pavement. Going to be taking this car and doing some time attacks on tracks and stuff like that and see where I can utilize this car more. Because drifting is not one thing I'm always only about. Like doing toge runs sideways, but also doing grip style toge runs are also super fun. Grew up watching the best motoring DVDs and stuff like that, which is where this track is originally from. Uh, if you know Drift King, he used to do it. He used to be one of the drivers, and he used to drive a Corolla all the time on this, which is another car that I'm going to be wanting to get out here is the Corolla hatch and see what time we can lay down. So at 2.36 is the time I got with this S2K. I'm gonna be keeping a record of these cars and what the times are actually for the cars because I wanna see what car is faster. Now this is a realistic tuned S2000. It isn't super crazy power or anything like that. That's something I'm gonna be making sure the cars are realistically tuned so that I can get a good basis of time and things like that, maybe bring out some race cars, maybe bring out some TCRs, rally cars, just to get a chance to see what the cars are capable of, because this track is super fun when it comes to uh, knowing what you're doing. Learning the track more and more now is something I'm getting used to, so I kind of know where the turns are, what I need to do, so it's not like I'm going to totally just biff it into a wall. Definitely gonna have to get like Nate on here, get him some laps on this track so he's comfortable with it so that we can have a good forward and backwards toge battle and actually have official grip toge battles here on this track. Maybe go over to Akagi and stuff like that too. Mount Akina and things like that. So that was a very solid run in this S2K. We're gonna change it up. So we decided to do the grip with the S2K, but I figured why not just bring a drift car out here and see what we can do with drifting this course. We have the C7 streetcar from my streetcar pack. We're going to go full send and see if we can't do a little grip-ish drift in this car and see what kind of time we can bring out of this car. Whoa, we're already going to be, I feel like we're already going to be in a huge deficit with this car. Handbrake grab. Oh, nope. Handbrake <clears throat> grab was the worst decision I could have made for that corner. This is a very tight course, and I don't know if drifting this is going to be the best course of action. Definitely not the fastest around this course, and we are hitting all the guardrails and everything like that, or all the gutters right there, yeah. This car's suspension is not set up to handle these bumps and things like that right now, but you know what? That's the fun of this. Try to manage some sort of slide and grip simultaneously in this car. It's definitely a bit of a challenge. Oh, don't die. That section we got pretty well. A little tight hairpin up. Definitely gonna yank the handbrake for that one. Try to go back that way. A little bit there. I feel like we were hanging our front wheel off. It's pretty quick though, I feel. Probably not the quickest way around that hairpin, but you know what? It's definitely fun. Curious what this lap time is actually going to be. Remember, this car has a lot more power 
I feel that that S2000. And across that finish line, that was a quick lap, I feel. Uh, so let's go see what that lap was, because I feel like that was actually a very quick lap. Back to pits. That was a 2 minutes and 55 seconds, so it was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. So we're going to take a look at that replay from the outside to end this episode off. So bring out the Corvette here and see what it looks like in the third person kind of trying to grip and drift you know this car is also on sticky ditto tires oh we went i forgot we went a little bit up in the grass so definitely not as slow as i thought it was going to be a 255 like i said i ran a 236 with the s2000 but running this car in drifting was not far off i wonder if we could actually tune this down a little bit get it to kind of grip up a little bit and see if we can't run a solid almost grip I forgot I almost died. Almost run a solid grip uh, grip setup on this car and see if we can't actually get a good time. We definitely were dropping a lot of tires in the dirt. So a new style of videos for you guys doing some toge runs, drifting, gripping, as well as building a new toge monster car. So if you guys have other cars that you want to see against each other in say a, a traditional toge style battle, let me know down in the comment section down below. Definitely had a lot of fun with that S2000 and this vet here on this course. So we're going to finish watching this replay of the vet where I was kind of hitting every bump, every curb, and I could definitely see a lot of spaces that I could make up time. So maybe we might bring this car back for another chance at the toge and see if we can't actually get a fast time with this car. We bring out the factory uh, C7 without the drift setup and see what it does in a grip aspect here on the toge. So like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing this on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys coming back and watching this video. As always, I appreciate all the support on the channel and all the people that are buying Mazda racing equipment through the reference code, which is in the link down, referral code, which is in the link down in the description. I do appreciate that. Also, hope you guys are going to get them very shortly and are going to definitely enjoy them as much as I do. And as always, you know, big thank you to Mazda for being a partner on the channel and hooking me up with this R9 wheelbase. I mean, it definitely looks cooler drifting through the toge, but, you know, rip driving through it is also its own challenge. Definitely curb hopping and doing some gutter runs. Definitely need to get a Corolla back here. Maybe bring all the initial D cars out here as well and see what we can do with all the initial D cars. I mean, that just looks cool going through the hairpin like that. Surprised we did not die there, honestly. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.